Hey guys, I'm out here on the lower. I'm out here on a pretty warm, cloudy day. We've got a storm coming in, so the pressure's gonna drop. I pretty much just slid down the hill to get here, so ouch. My wife would be very upset. Anyways, hopefully we smash them on mid dries and other stuff today. All right, so I brought a dry fly rod and jig streamer rod with me. Just start off here throwing a jig streamer through this run. Oh, my shoulder is pretty numb from that fall. There we go. Finally. Ooh, and the fish just came up, huh? Feels like a decent brown. Oh, no. Dang. All right, well, one will hit a streamer, that's good information. Don't think that was a really big one, but it was bigger than cookie cutter, I think. I see my first midges on the water. So hopefully that bodes well for dry flies. There we go. That's finally made that cast. I wanted to make that cast a few times, but just can't get it all the way across. That's a decent brown. Yes, that's a nice one. How about that, guys? On the jig streamer. Still pretty dark. Ate the jig sculptzilla. And the other one was fighting harder than this. Wonder how big that other one was. Oh, slid right out. Barbless hooks. Now he's eating the line. All right. That's a nice lower Provo brown trout, huh? Not a bad one. Streamer eater. Definitely a lot more midges out. Okay, before I walk up on that, Fish this close seam first. There we go. Why is he downstream? Do you have him fouled? No, I got him in the mouth. Cool. 
a little round. That time I kind of cast it into the back of it and let it kind of swirl around back towards me and he ate it that time. That's a pretty one. Big Sculptilla. Oh! <laughs> that brown came up and smashed it as soon as it hit the water. I was not expecting that. I also did not get a hook in him. All right, let's go back in here with the Nymphrig and see if we can pick up some a few stragglers that didn't want to eat this streamer. Oh, or one. <laughs> See what he ate. Ate the hairy zebra jig. Makes sense. It's a midge type of day. Oh. Look, a non bunny royale eater. They exist. Look, oh, hairy zebra jig. Cool. So we did pick up a bonus fish in there. All right, so I've had a fish come up ahead of me here. I haven't seen any real, real consistent risers yet, but someone won't come up. So I'm just gonna kinda, before I walk out any closer, I'm just gonna throw a dry fly up into this little kind of nervous water up here. See if we can get him to come up. I'm gonna blind cast too before I get up to where he was. Ooh, I see one holding. Yeah. Awesome. On the dry. I think that's a bow I saw come up before. Corn fed midge, flashy one. Where's my net? Grab my net, there we go. With the left hand. Okay, this guy has landed. It's a fat bow. That one's gonna be big later. You know, if you stop eating corn fed midges all the time. Let's see if we can avoid sliming up our fly here. Oh, nice bow. That's fun. Saw him just come up and sip it. Well, I'm sure you guys saw that too. There we go. It's a nice fish. I 
I suppose it looks like. Yeah. Chunky. Yeah, that's a solid bow. I feel like this run's always good for one big bow. Yeah, that's fat. It's a nice fish. Oh, he gone. Hey guys, I'm cutting in here with a bit of an announcement. Uh, effective March 1st, I'm gonna have to raise the prices on some flies in my store. Uh, price per fly is gonna go up 10 to 15 cents per fly, which amounts to 3.6 to 5.7 percent increase. You know, the fly tying world's not immune from inflation or supply chain shortages and the cost of materials is just going up. So I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving the store. Hopefully this doesn't put too many of you off. It's just something that I think needs to happen. Again, thanks for everything and hope you guys understand. Anyways, back to fishing. Ooh. Have flies. Yep, that was a fish for sure. That's our hook point. Not good. Dang, that's why we missed that fish. Cause that was a solid bump. Let's get my little hook sharpener out. Got a sticky hook again. Ooh, that was a, that was a fish. They are kind of short striking today. I feel like the fact that they want to swipe at this, maybe that was a rock, that they want to swipe at this a little bit more means the hatch is ramping up and they're getting a little more active looking to feed it's bottom that's the hope at least there we go that seems like a better fish too That one did not hit it that well. Ooh, it's a brown. It's a nice brown. Oh, we took Lance's. Good job, Lance. Thank you. That is absolutely blown up rig right there. Maybe we can deal with it after. Let's get the flies out. Ugh. Okay. It's in a decent brown for the lower. Still a little snaky. Oh. 
should tuck those away. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Wow. No! Oh, it broke off. Dude, did you see that brown? That's probably a 22 inch fish. I just tied that surgeon's knot too. That's by far the biggest brown I've hooked on the lower. Well, if any of you guys catch a giant brown trout with a jig sculptzilla in its mouth, good on you. Man, it's. Gotta tie a good knots every time. You never know when you're gonna hook into a giant. And I didn't tie a good knot that time. Oh man, that's pretty heartbreaking. That's, those are the bites you hope for, you know, once or twice a year. Well, maybe he's got a brother, yeah? Big sister. Not only was that brown long, it was wide. I hope the GoPro caught just how big that fish was. I mean, you could see it just running all over, a million miles an hour. There we go, right at the end of the drift. That's coming back to cast. About a quarter the size of that other fish, maybe a third. <laughs> oh, came off. I'm okay with that. Oh, on the swing. Jig streamer ratio, not that great, huh? There we go. He came back for it. Swung it right in front of his face again. Oh, that's not a bad fish, actually. Maybe not playing so stupid and angry. Yeah, not a bad fish at all. We're gonna get down below them. Not anywhere close to that other one, but I think it's the best fish of the day. Other than maybe that bow. Pretty round now. Big Scopezilla. Okay. On the swing, he came back for it. Doesn't happen often, but it's worth trying each time. It's a solid brown. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nipped at it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of hits on this. They're not all solid though. I don't think there's any chance that one was getting pinned. 
Oh, or that, that one. Those feel so like light and swipey. And helmets catching in the guides. I think some of the fly lines kind of uh, torn up. There we go. Another nice brown. So light, those takes. Cool. Ugh, water's cold. Another nice brown. Guess I can't complain they're willing to eat. I couldn't not want to even look at streamers. So. There we go. Yeah, see, it feels like they're coming back for it. Maybe they're just fighting over it. Which one's that one on? That's on Lance's. Okay. Maybe we'll try and avoid the net so we don't absolutely blow up our rig again. You know, if I could grab the leader. There we go. The line out of the gills. Okay. Another brown. All right, I was gonna throw the streamers through here, but I saw a couple of fish come up way down below me. So I am going to throw the dry. Yeah, oh no, I missed him. That's a BWL, I think. Okay. Let's see if we can wait for some more risers. The one we saw, we had a chance on. See, look, there's BWOs on the water right now. It's crazy. Well, still mid-February. Might have to try putting one of the BWOs on. I can't get this guy to come up for the midge. All right, I've got a softwater mayfly tied on. Maybe they'll prefer this one to the CDC.
There we go. Yes. Soft water mayfly. This is a size 18 BWO. Oh, where's my net? Yes. Oh, we're not really on camera, are we? A little bit. Oh, and we're falling. Man, it took me forever to pick up this fish. <laughs> Finally got him now. There you go, soft water mayfly. Cool. Skinny, not a bad one now. For a dry fly fish, can't complain. All right, the wind's picked up, so I put on an indicator rig. I've got a glassy midge and a biot bar merger on. The biot bar merger's on point, and the glassy midge is, there we go. First cast, and the glassy midge is uh, on the dropper. That's on the bar, mer nope, that's on the TF glassy midge. Cool, this one's a natural, 18. Nice little bow. First cast. I knew we'd, we were probably going to wreck him on an indicator rig in here. Okay, there we go. There's a rainbow, and he's gone. <laughs> okay, that's probably not worth absolutely torching my hands. Oh, that's cold. There we go. There's one swimming with it. It's a decent little bow. Okay, they're on the midges. I might double up on midges. That was on the glassy midge. Again. Oh, good midge pupa imitation. Also the fact that both those fish were on the dropper and not on the point means the point fly is wrong. So we put the glassy midge and the TF midge together since the bar merger is not getting any love. That might be a better fish, if I can get tight to him. Maybe not, maybe just another cookie cutter. Yeah, just another cookie cutter. This one's on the TF midge though, see? Good fly, good fly switch right there. Oh, the adipose fin is really pretty. It's all red and spotted up. Okay, brown trout. You guys, I still indicator nymph too. 
do whatever it takes to catch fish. Oh, that's a nice one. On the glassy midge again. The solid brown. Not a bad one. All right guys, that's gonna do it for our day out here on the lower. It's starting to get cold and the front's coming in, so I'm gonna go back to the car. You know, it was a typical lower Provo day. Caught some nymphing, caught some on streamers, got a couple to come up for dries. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below or in if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. I appreciate it. A fish just came up and took my attention right there. Anyways, thanks.